Now, amidst heightened controversy among public officials, former Prime Minister PJ Patterson is calling them out for their so-called vulgar and disturbing behavior on the political stage and other platforms. Mr. Patterson says the ugly behavior never attracts an increase of political support and will further divide the Jamaican people. Kelisha Williams has that story. It's not often that the former prime minister comments on matters in the public discourse, but in a statement Thursday, P.J. Patterson said he was too disturbed by recent events to remain silent. The four-page statement highlighted the island's journey to emancipation and the pride and politics of the nation. Mr. Patterson vaguely pointed to utterances from some in the political sphere and positions of authority, which he said belittle us as a nation and also undermine respect for all. He indicated the public is made to endure intensely negative public discourse that abuses, demeans, and vilifies others. And instead of mutual respect, a small but vociferous number of public speakers are consistently mean-spirited and vulgar. Stressing that public respect is at an all-time low, Mr. Patterson warned that the behavior could result in intolerable levels of partisan division and yield dangerous social tension in the island. And he believes it will never result in increasing political support, especially as politicians seek to entice the younger generation. While he stared clear of calling any names or identifying any specific matter, Mr. Patterson's comments come days after attorney Isaac Buchanan resigned from the PNP's Human Rights Commission for a disrespectful comment he made about DPP Paula Llewellyn on a YouTube show. And what has been described as disgraceful statement by PNP General Secretary Dayton Campbell at a political meeting. It also follows the interdiction of Police Federation President Corporal Rohan James for statements he made at the funeral of a slain police officer. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.